Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder and we are here on our corner of Jurassic Park Island and doing pretty good if you uh, want to take a peek up here at our coins I have been busy 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 collecting coins and not spinning them over the last week and we're almost up to 5 million coins which is a lot of money and I'm pretty excited uh, let's see if we can just go ahead and get that amount really quickly good morning everyone yeah how are you guys doing let me go ahead and collect all this stuff. It's just, there's something about being like, yeah, I'm a five times over millionaire. Oh, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Oh my gosh. There we go. Now we have five million coins and I have a deep desire to spend the coins all over the place. Hopefully on being able to evolve up some creatures. Hopefully on being able to uh, get some more expensive decorations. Expand Atlantis down in the deep sea kelp abyss our water park or i should say like our ocean park or aquatic park there we go aquatic park sounds best all right so let's go ahead and collect all of the coinage there we are there you go guys that's enough coins to definitely work on trying to evolve a few of you all right and someone mentioned that it's actually very cheap to evolve our little suit which is the name the name of our little little guy up here so or, um, hmm, two. Two-o, hmm. You know what, Jen, how about Jen? We're gonna go with Jen. G, -I or J-I-A-N, Jen. So we're just gonna go with Jen, and apparently it's pretty cheap to evolve this guy. If you hit evolve, then it's supposed to be like only about 15,000 coins a turn, so we'll probably work on evolving him in just a minute. But I'm gonna jump around and we're gonna check out some of our other zones to see what's been going on in them. And if we can get any of the limited edition creatures. I haven't managed to get my hands on any of the limited edition dinosaurs for a while. What? You're off? You're like, ah, he's, no. We're far, far away from that. We need to start entering the tournaments again. I haven't entered the tournaments in way too long. That's actually something I want to do today. Maybe haul our aquatic crew into another tournament. Aw, oh, man. That's a lot of bucks off. And that's like over a hundred bucks off. And we don't have... We don't have the bucks because we had to spend all of our bucks on various projects. But we'll earn them back. I'm not too worried. We just need to enter the, the tournaments again. And I haven't been very diligent about the tournaments lately. But I have been diligent about the coins. So there is that. Alright. Look at all these. <gasps> so much money. So much money. We might even be able to like work on the mosasaur's little coral like reef that I want to build for it. And let's come over here. We could even put down quite a few new apartments for our little Atlantis area. Maybe some more buildings, some more decorations. We could work on evolving this poor little guy up just for the sake of it. Oh, uh, yeah, we could probably really, with this much money, we could probably get some nice decorative pieces put into the aquatic zone, which I'm pretty excited about. The Mosasaurus could probably give us a lot more coins if he had a proper coral reef built up around him, too. All right. Oh, ooh, this guy's new. We might have to see if we can get into this DNA rescue. Interesting. But let's check our glacial zone. <gasps> yes, you guys, look at that. A new DNA sample. Wonderful. Well, that's a little piece of luck. Let's go ahead and research it. Because we've got the coins for it. I don't want to spend the bucks, though. Because, well, with 5 million coins, we don't really need to be that, like, discreet with our spending on the coinage. Even if it's going to be painful sitting here and waiting for Petri dish luck. All right, come on, little one. I really want to know what you are. There we go. Finally got a little start. But yeah, I really need to start entering the tournaments more often. So you guys might start seeing more of that when we jump into Jurassic Park Builder. Is just diving into the tournaments and doing our best. For some reason, I think I get a little bit nervous when I share the tournaments with you guys. Because I tend to, I tend, the most loses I tend to have in tournaments tend to be when I'm sharing them with you guys. But we'll do our best. Come on. I'm not spending some bucks on this. All right. And we do actually have some little creatures who are ready to come out of their incubators here in the glacial zone. So I'm pretty excited about that. Come along, little ones. Oh, I see how it is. There we go. Ugh. Spending so much money. But you know what? It's just coins. And the bucks are definitely more valuable than coins. Oh, come on. 
Come on, Petri dish. I wonder what it is too, because, oh, I wonder if it's like that, that turtle. I would love to have another one of the prehistoric like land tortoises that you can get. So let's see. I don't think it's him though. We should probably also be spending quite a bit of our coinage on saving up various food for the different areas because when we do manage to get our hands on new creatures or level up our current ones, oh my gosh, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to cave pretty soon. Okay, fine. I'll spend like a couple bucks. This is ridiculous. It really is like millions of coins just for a cheap little thing to study. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. This is done on purpose, I would bet. All right, we're almost there. Just a few more. But yeah, we will um, try to get some of these guys involved. It's just easier with bucks. So I need to focus on tournaments is what I really need to do. And I haven't been doing that lately. What's your favorite tournament? I'm really curious about that actually, because I like Glacial. Glacial's not terrible, but I love Aquatic. I, I think it's just the animations, that they're swimming through the water, the different creatures, the Colossal Squid it shows up, the Megalodon shows up, Leviathan shows up. And those are some of my favorite creatures. I can't believe we've spent almost a million coins on this. No, this is ridiculous. I call hijinks. I'm really suspicious about this. All right. This is just silly. Come on. Ugh, maybe Glacial is just a little bit tougher on the luck than usual. All right, fine, here. Freaking four bucks. All right, there we go. So let's check out what we just got. Ooh, it's the guy with the big giant um, horns, the two-horned rhino guy. And I think we can actually afford to get him if I have some space. <gasps> if we clear this out, we'll have space for him. There we go. Wonderful. And now we have room for the new little one we've just added. I'm going to clear these rocks out of the way too. There we go. Come into the market. Get this guy. Put him down right over here next to the super expensive saber tooth. And there we go. So now we have another plant eater. He's going to be ready in several days. And we can just come on over, collect up our coins from everybody else. So Glacial Zone is getting more and more interesting. It's a little bit harder to update things here because all of the, the, deco like the decorations are so expensive. But I'm having a really good time doing it. So let's go ahead and crack open the guys that we did try to evolve up or who are brand new. I think you're new. You guys, it's a little armadillo! Oh, that's so cool! So, the, Oh my gosh, there's three of them! They're so cute! Look at those little things! Oh, look at you, look at you, look at you! Here you go, guys! Here you go, have a little bit of food! Boom! Oh, they're bearing out! Oh, they're so cute! And they are gold level! There you go, little ones! Oh, I like them! We're going to have to see what the, they can do as gold level. And then these two, I think we evolved up to one star. So let's check what they're doing. Oh, the Sarcastodon. Oh, and we leveled up. Yes. Two of our bucks have returned to us. <gasps> what is that? It's a snowy labyrinth. What? That is so cool looking. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. If they had like a snow castle or something, I would totally get it. All right. So you're ready, little Sarcastodon. Let's get you up to at least level 15. There you go. Look at the stripes on him now. That's awesome. And then finally, we've got this little one. <gasps> These little guys, look how cute they are. Oh, they've got spots now. And let's go ahead. Whoops. And done. And get some food coming in for them. Really, what better way to spend our money? All right. So there we go. We've gotten those guys evolved up. We have opened up these guys. They're really cute, actually. I really like them. And we've got a new little one in the glacial area. That's not bad. Let's check on what missions we're working on back here. Ki the kids' day, we still need two herbivores at level 15, so we're still working on that. I think we only have one evolved herbivore right here. And do we have any other... No, we don't. So we need to get another herbivore evolved and work on getting them up to level 15 so that's going to be another project 
And then we need to have six stars with carnivores. And right now we have these two at one star. So it's going to be slow process getting everybody here up because clearly I need to focus on tournaments to get more bucks to spend. But we'll get there. And then we also need to collect from the watchtower two times with at least a 5% bonus and place two small ice sculptures. We need to collect from a communications relay with a 15% bonus. We need to collect from a medical ward two times. Oh my goodness. And we need to, let's see, have four stars collectively for all animals. We're almost done with this one right here. So it sounds like we need to make sure that we have a watchtower. And we need to make sure that we have a medical ward. So let's go ahead and start building those places. Let's see. Oh my gosh, the watchtower is so expensive. <laughs> that's fine though. We'll just put the watchtower back here. And we'll check how, let's see, that's only 4% bonus right now, I think. So we'll upgrade that later. And then I need, let's see, not the info igloo, the medical ward. So then we'll get the medical ward put down. I think putting it down over here maybe well i want to make that into a proper little garden maybe up here let's just put it up here for a moment there we go so we're working on getting those buildings built now i'm pretty content with that glacial area is looking good and so let's see aquatic zone we still have a lot of coins we could spend and i do want to spend them and if only i could get you oh that would be amazing I do want to spend them kind of like updating a few things back here. So are there any expensive decorations I need? Ah, oh, the four giant sea stars. And the 14 green seaweed. And let's see, tracks, yellow coral bushes, five purple seaweed, a giant fossil. Oh my gosh. They want so many things. Let's try the four giant sea stars and see if we can get away with those today. So let's see. Underwater caves, small fossils, anchors, young coral bush, giant sea star. There we go. Oh, wow. They actually provide a lot of boost for, like, a small area. That's not bad. All right, let's put him over here then. Giant sea star. So it can affect this whole zone. There's one giant sea star. Let's put another one back here. I'll put another one right here. Two giant sea stars. And then let's see, we need some more green kelp in a few places so we can add those down over here later too. I kind of want to put some giant sea stars down here if there's any room anywhere. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Then we could have a 64% bonus on try. So I'm going to put one down here. Oh, they're really pretty actually. And then we could probably put one. Oh, look at this. If we put one down here, it might cover a whole bunch of these guys all at once. So let me see, right here, let's go right here actually, there. A math math uh, mathematician's work is never done. There, woohoo! All right, so we've at least got that mission done. Talk about a disaster waiting to happen. All this craziness can't be good for the park. Too many unknowns in the equation. X Factor. I'm not at all happy with this recent Hollywood invasion. Someone needs to think about the specimens for once. Collect from the Abyss Museum three times and level up Episcopal. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. And now we need to go ahead and put down some of this green seaweed in a few places. So let's see, where can I fit you? I think I wanted to do like a line of seaweed back here actually to sort of separate where this little guy was hanging out. Well, he's not little. He's our biggest guy. But I did want to put a line of seaweed back here. Let's see. Let's keep going. And I'm doing it kind of zigzaggy pattern to make it look a little bit more like a forest. And is that enough? How many more do we need? Just one more, and then we'll be able to finish that quest too. All right. Green seaweed. And there. We need to find someone who can help us. All right, we're on it. Collect from the security complex five times and collect 5,000 coins from the hotel. Looking for an eyewitness. Okay, okay. So we'll be able to manage that. And then what's left, I think we're going to save for trying to evolve some creatures. What's this? Yeah, what's left we'll save for trying to evolve some creatures. But I like how we've finally been able to really progress thanks to having enough money on getting some things done. Oh, and then I probably... Ah, why do I keep hitting track? Let's go ahead and get more food for both both types of creatures in here. 
All right, so that should be good here. And finally, let's go ahead and I'm going to dive into some tournaments. And then I'll work on evolving some of the little guys. It takes a while for the Petri dish lock, so I'll do that like later on my own. We're going to abandon this rescue. That's fine. Are we in a new... We are not yet. When is the end of this tournament season? End of this tournament season is in six days. Okay, that's actually a good amount of time. All right, and let's go ahead. We're going to jump right into the deep end. Oh, are we going to be able to do this? Are we going to be able to do this? I hope we're going to be able to do this. Let's just go ahead. It's been like a long time since I've done a tournament. I have no idea if we're going to get slaughtered or not, but we're going to try. We're going to do our best. We do have a lot of really fantastic aquatic creatures that we can throw into the battle, too. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, let's go with banana fish. And let's go with derma. And the bacolites. Ooh, I hope that's going to be enough. Oh, it's this guy. I love this guy. I can't wait until we can get one of these uh, aquatic turtles. They're just really cool looking. All right, you guys, here we go. Diving into the aquatic. <gasps> Look at him go. Hello, little one. I'm going to save my blocks, if you please. You're probably, yep, I, I'm going to regret this. I had a feeling I was going to regret this. That is a okay. Consider banana fish like my sacrificial little fish of the day. All right, let's charge. You don't do a lot of damage, do you, banana fish? That is okay. We'll let you go down. Bite is good against banana fish, noted. Let's try charging again. That's more like it. All right, and I will protect a derma. Oh, I didn't hit it in time. Okay, don't panic. Derma shouldn't take too much terrible damage from this. Not good, but not bad either. All right, hang in there, Derma. All right, there we go. And we're gonna block. All right, hang in there, little one. A lot's riding on you, but don't be stressed. Derma's gotten us through a lot. We're starting to enter the era where that may not be enough though. All right. Can I retaliate? Let's see. Let's see if he's gonna start using his blocks or not. All right, Derma. Ah, good. He didn't use a block. And we're gonna save our block though. Hang in there, Derma. Oh, down he goes. That's okay. All right. I can't remember what is strong and effective against this guy, but I'm gonna try using a special, and we'll see if that helps. Oh, yes! Okay! <laughs> that was totally worth it! Good job, Bacolite! Man, I almost never use the Bacolite. Because in the past, it's been kind of weak, but it is up to level 20 now. Alright, we have the first move. I hope it'll go well. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and use you, you, and you. And hopefully that'll be an okay team. All right, this guy. Oh man, I wish I could remember what is strong against him. Like I said, it's been way too long since I have jumped into the tournaments myself. So I need to start remembering what's good. Okay. All right, little Deco. Uh, is it bite that's good against this guy or charge? I can't remember. Is it swipe? Let's try charge, see what happens. Oh, using a block, that's fine. <laughs> Baitfish likes it when you use blocks. All right. Hang in there, Deco. Let me know what is good. Is it Bite that's good against him? We're going to figure it out. Okay, Bite is not strong against him. So Bite's not really worth it. But now we know that. And let's try Charge. Charge isn't really worth it. Now we're going to block. And let's go ahead and try Special then. Just to see what will happen. I don't like these guys. They're like armor fish. Oh, dang it. I should have known he was going to block. And that moved so quickly I wasn't even able to block the retaliation. That's okay. Try is kind of meant to carry the whole team anyway. 
But this this may be asking a lot of try. All right, well, let's go ahead and swipe. I'm not gonna forget that armor fish weak to swipe. I won't forget this. All right, come on, hurry up and finish off my little one. Sorry, buddy. Now try is out here, and I'm gonna do my best to try to endure. All right, good. So his blocks are gone. My blocks are gonna be gone pretty soon, though. Come on. All right. Let's see if we can pull this off. Oh, it feels so bad. Why do I always lose tournaments like when you guys get to see? <laughs> oh, dear. All right. And then hopefully we can endure. Use a couple specials. Get the Coolyosaurus out of the way. And there we go. All right, go, try, go. Man, I love his pretty spots. Do, 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 boink! Ah, oh, good, good, good. Coolyasuchus, not much more left on you. I'm trying to remember what you're weak against. Is it bite? Is it swipe? I feel like it's swipe, but it might not be. Yeah, it's swipe, thank goodness. Alright, and you, my little friend, I think are weak against... Um, look at the little catfish. I think he's weak against bite. So we're going to find that out. Blocked his attack. There we go. Going to use a special. I'm playing it close this time just because I can't remember some of their weaknesses. Because it's been so long. All right, buddy. Mr. He's like a catfish seal. I really like it. And let's see if we can get him. It's going to be kind of neck and neck. We're playing it close. Oh, no, we'll be okay. All right, try. Let's clear this guy up. I think he takes bite. Let's see if he is weak to bite. And down he goes. All right, that wasn't horrible. It was a lot closer than I wanted, but it wasn't horrible. Okay, there we go. Entering into the final round. And now we are actually going to use... Do I want to pull Derma back out? I almost wonder if it's worth pulling Derma or the Bacolite back out with what we could have. Um, I'm going to pull... I'm going to go ahead and I will pull Derma out. Should I pull Derma out? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull Derma back out. So we have a really strong team. Oh my gosh, is, this is almost identical to the first round we fought. We probably could have been okay, but I don't want to lose when we could finally have a little bit of bucks back again. All right, hey Derma, you're playing as bait fish today. You should be able to endure the hits from this guy. I love his shell. It's like a little chessboard or something like that. Ah, he's very highly evolved. All right, hang in there Derma. I guess any bait fish would have worked actually, so I really should have saved 13 bucks, but oh well. Hindsight's 2020 and we're learning. All right, not bad. And we can at least weaken this guy. There we go. He's not using any blocks, but he did use a special. And the first two we send out in the final round is almost always meant to be a bait fish anyway. All right, our little swamp Kuliosuchus, go forth. Not bad. I really, I'm tempted to evolve this guy up all the way just because he actually does some pretty decent attacks. All right, hang in there, little guy. We're gonna go ahead, charge. Oh, there we go, that's more like it. Use those specials up, that's what the bait fish are for. All right, here we go. And charge, there we go. All right, buckle eight. We should be okay, because we have the Mosasaurus left. <laughs> you see what I mean? We kind of got this guy left. I think charge is the strong thing against him. Yeah, it is. I don't even, I don't even know if we'll have to use a special. We might. No, probably not. <laughs> All right, we should be fine. 
But I wonder what projects we should work on next, you guys, because my goal for next tournament season is to get all of our fighters, like all of the, the three different tournament styles, up to gold season ASAP. And then once we're in gold, we'll be able to uh, start earning the DNA points whenever one of the DNA rescue missions happens. Because I would really like to start doing more of the DNA rescue missions and actually like achieving them. Hello, little Bacalite. Things are almost done for you. They're very pretty when they're evolved like this, though. All right. All right. I see how it is. You know what? I'm going to do a little block just because you're probably going to... Yeah, there. Yes, just to, just to drive the message home. All right. And down we go. And we're done! Oh, that's a, that's a relief to have a victory under our belt. It's been a while. All right, there we go. Tournament complete. We've been awarded the grand prize. We're back up. We get to open all of these to celebrate our victory. And of course, it would be the very last one. So we have a point of DNA point towards this guy right here. Huh. I wouldn't mind getting another one of these guys. Wouldn't mind getting one at all, but there's not enough time, I'm afraid. So maybe next time, maybe next time. But all right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to work on evolving up some of our creatures at some point to celebrate that we, we won. But really, we have a pretty solid winning team when it comes to most of our aquatic animals. I just kind of need to pick one of the newer ones to get a little bit higher so that we have a solid set of 333 and I'm not having to reuse one of them for the final battle. Um, so I'm gonna look into that. They, they could be a little bit higher, like the banana fish could be a bit stronger maybe, and that might be a good thing. Or maybe this guy, but I think he's pretty weak even when he's fully evolved. So we'll figure it out. Who do you think we should evolve in our aquatic zone to help us out when it comes to fighting in the tournaments? And we'll work on getting a stronger set of fighters over in the Jurassic zone too, because really... I thought we were just really bad at fighting Jurassic, and it turns out that Jurassic just needed more of our dinosaurs evolved. So, we will work on those. I wish I could get that guy, but I can't, because he costs $20. Um, but yeah, we'll work on getting some better fighters over here in our Jurassic Zone, and that way we can just start conquering the tournaments. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye